Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to export a CSV file. So don't leave and learn Manix with me. So to start we need to download two modules that are dependencies of the CSV module. The first one is the community commons, so you can search in the marketplace, community commons and then download the module. Click in add as a new module and click in import. The second module is OKL. You can also search it in, on the marketplace. So OKL, click in the first one and click in download. Add as a new module and click import. Continue. Now we have some errors, so we can click, select the layout, and go to the properties and select the, the correct uh, layout for this page. So in this case, we can uh, select the default, and we need to do the same for uh, all the pages. Once everything is fixed, we can uh, save the project and go back to the marketplace. This time we are going to search for ESV. And click on the first module. Also click to download and as a new module. Click OK. So to give you some context about this application, I'm going to the domain model just to show you what we already have here. So currently we have only one entity called request where we have three attributes. One for the name, a second that is status where we have just enumeration with two values. The first one is draft, and the second is submitted. We can apply as a default value draft and click Okay, so the third attribute is just a request ID and have as a type auto number. Still regarding this entity, we also have the access rules. So currently we only have one module rule that is user and have permission to do everything. Regarding the pages, we already have two pages created. One is for the overview. And the second, it's the new edit. That means to create a new object. So to be possible to export CSV file, we need to go to the domain model and create uh, two new entities. The first one, it's a CSV file. So add the new entity, name CSV file. And this entity should be a generalization of the file document. We don't need to create any attribute to this entity, just go to the access rules, cl click in new, select user and uh, allow create and to delete objects and also give read and write access. For the second entity, you can just copy the request entity and paste it, double click change the name to request underscore ESV and change the persistable to no to, to become non-persistable and just click OK. So it's also necessary to change the request ID type so from auto number to integer because this is a non-persistent entity and also update the access rule. So user should be selected, also creating and deleting objects and give permissions to read and write all the attributes. Now you can go to the overview page. Inside the grid, you can right click, add the new button and select action. 
double click on the action button right export psv and on the on click the event you can select all a microflow in here inside the request you can generate a new microflow called act request export psv and click ok so click to show the microflow and click ok you can already give some permissions to this microflow so select user and here uh, we can go to the app explorer then click in marketplace modules and then csv and if you check the use me folder you can see that we have many java actions available to use so in this case we can just move and export csv java action to the microflow double click on the java actions and you can see that we have a lot of parameters to fill so the first one it's already an a file of the type file document so we need to close go to the toolbox create an object double click entity you should select psv file and click ok now double click again on the java action select the new csv file microflow we can leave it for now as a microflow parameter we can leave empty use system context as true separator we can you can use um, any character to separate in this case um, I'm going to choose this one. It should be a between single codes, but you can use uh, what you need. If you scroll down, you have more options. So code right there, you can just leave it empty because have default value. Escape character also empty, and character set where you uh, tf8 will be used if empty. Now go up and click and select to the microflow and here create a new one called IVK request write ESV and click OK. Select to show the microflow and click OK again. So inside this microflow we are going to retrieve all the objects that we want to export so from that base i'm going to select all objects from the request entity so request range all i'm not going to constrain the the data so i will leave the xpf empty and just click ok now i'm going to iterate through uh, this list so iterate over request list and click ok Go to the toolbox, drag and drop a create action. So entity should be request ESV. And now we are going to fill all the members with information from the iterator. So name should be iterator request name. For the status, the same thing. So iterator status and also for the request ID. Click OK, OK again. And now you can go again to the left side, to the App Explorer, and search for right next line, and drag and drop to the loop. Connect the Create and the Java Action. Double click. And as a, an entity, you can select a request CSV and align the new attribute we just create. Click OK. Now, if we go back to the ACT, we can check if the CSV was exported or not. We can just change the Boolean name to uh, CSV. 
export it and add the condition so just to check if it was sexually exported so this one and we can just copy and paste it as a, a caption click ok and to the right side let's select true as a, a condition value and to below we can just add an end event and after the decision we can just search for download and we can download the file double click and select the new csv file so before we run the project we just need to go to the navigation and uh, we can change the, the home page to the request overview so page request overview click ok and also the default home page um, to the overview so before we run we can just go to the act microflow and remove this parameter delete and click to run the server click in view app login as a mx admin or other user that you have so let's create two uh, new objects so test one as a status uh, draft and then the second with the status submitted and if everything went well if we click in export csv it will start to download as you can see we can open the folder and execute the project so if i open with the excel file you will see um, every information in each cell or if i open with a node pad plus plus you can see that is divided with our separator thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye